Alright, what's going on guys and welcome back to another Anthem video. Now this is the second Anthem video that I'm doing and the last one got so much support so thank you, thank you guys so much for that. So today we're going to be talking about the endgame loot in Anthem and how or one of the ways on how to get endgame loot and it's probably going to be the one of the ways you're going to be doing it a lot. So if you guys do enjoy this video, if this does help you out in any way, make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you guys are new to my videos for Anthem. I'm going to be uploading a lot more. Okay, so if you guys have missed any of the last streams lately, they've been doing some legendary and normal contracts. Now, these are going to be end game stuff. Contracts are normally you're going to be doing throughout the game, but legendary contracts are also end game things to do. Contracts, just like Destiny, are basically quests, sash, side quests, or bounties that you can actually do, and they have different stages. Normal contracts will give you normal loot, but once you get to that level 30, you're going to be able to get legendary contracts, and these will come from Fort Tarsus. And uh, the agents in that place will be able to give you these legendary contracts. And you're not going to be getting them all the time. They will be dropping, you know, sometimes you'll be able to get drop a few. But in Fort Tartus, that, those agents in there will be able to give you some legendary contracts once you hit level 30. So just like in Destiny and other games, basically these will have different stages. And at the end, basically you will be able to earn some legendary loot. And just a heads up that legendary contracts are very, very hard. In the last room right now, you can see Ben Irvin and Emily Taylor actually doing a legendary contracts where they actually fight an Ursix and they also fight three titans at the end okay so at the in, in the live stream it's about an hour long live stream and they do the entire contract from start to end and uh, they do some steps uh, to get to the end involving you know just some side quests here and there but the end they do find r6 and three titans now just like any other looter shooter it is rng and you're not guaranteed the best of the best of the weapons but you will be dropping high end uh, end game loot right there from the legendary contracts and uh, something special about the legendary contracts as well actually they won't always be the same let's say that you got a legendary contracts for um for one of your characters or whatever and uh, you complete it the next time you actually do the same contract it will be different you will be doing a different quest and if you either back out or die you'll have to restart it if you load back into it it will be different so maybe you might get an easier one or you might be getting the same one or a harder one to do it won't ever be the same which is actually a really good thing you can actually select the difficulty you want to do these in uh just like anything in the game right now the missions the side quests the contracts anything in the game you can select the difficulty and the difficulty will mean which kind of uh, stuff you'll be dropping so the lower the difficulty the lower the weapons and armor the higher the difficulty the better gear that you'll be able to get so make sure you do those contracts as high as possible and that is basically what legendary contracts are just to go over it again very simple stuff at the end of the end game once you hit level 30 you will be having the chance to drop some legendary contracts in for Tartus from the agents that are there and those will give you basically a long quest and at the end you will basically have to fight a few bosses here and there and they will always be different and that is where you will be able to get some end game very good end game loot and there is that is not the only way you'll be able to get end game loot there are many many different ways raids all these kind of things in Anthem, you were able to drop endgame loot, but these are one of the ways to actually get them. After you've completed the legendary contract, as you guys can see on the screen right now, this is the loot reward slash endgame screen for your characters and your friends, and basically if you are doing a solo over the team, this is where you will see what you've gotten. And that is basically it from the last stream. It explains to what, what exactly is going on, they explain what they're doing, and I just managed to, you know, kind of compress it into this little video to show you guys exactly what's happening with the Legend Contracts, what they do, what they drop, and how they work. So hope you guys actually enjoyed this. Hopefully it did help you guys out a bit just to understand what contracts are and how to get some endgame loot. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be back with another Anthem video very soon.